Hey everyone, Big Mac here. How's it going? I thought we were done with Kid Icarus, you thought. No. No, I... Apparently, I really am a glutton for punishment. I went back. Um, I went through the entire game twice, actually. Uh, this was the end of my second time through the game. Of course, you guys all saw my first time through the game. Uh, second time, much, uh, much easier than it was the first time. Uh, here I'm just showing the, the fight with Medusa again, uh, to show in fact that you get a different ending depending on how many things you have. So I actually found all three of the main weapon things, so you actually see that I got upgraded to like a Roman type helmet situation. So in fact, there are four endings. The one that we got the first time, that was the worst possible ending. Apparently it was actually a sickle that we got, not a hat. But anyway, uh, skip, uh, cutting through the credits, I just wanted to show a couple of other things in this level. One, uh, one was the effect of getting those other two uh, upgrade type things. Uh, obviously, the one that we had found was like the fire arrows or something. Uh, the other two, uh, the long shot, and these, I don't know what it's called, but the spinny orbs thing. But yeah, so basically you can have these constant projectiles uh, rotating around you, and they inflict damage on most enemies who would otherwise come in contact with you. So, it also helps you pre uh, help prevent you from getting hurt a lot in these situations. So, in retrospect, I should have picked that one first, but, you know, whatever. Otherwise, uh, another thing to pay attention to is I think at this point I have level 4 strength. Whereas, you know, we went through the entire uh, game with level 1 strength the first time. So you guys probably noticed a few things. One, it was a lot easier to kill enemies. Even uh, death at this point only took 3 hits compared to 10, uh, which was great. And we'll also see in this level, uh, actually, I kept this footage in because I wanted to also show uh, basically the last upgrade to level 5 strength. So, notice that I'm defeating a lot of enemies as I climb, but I'm not really doing any notion of grinding in here. So, in fact, you know, with just a little bit of effort the first time, uh, I could probably could have, you know, accumulated enough points in order to uh, qualify to get the uh, strength upgrade uh, the first time we were back in level 1 too, but I have no idea how much I missed it by or anything. Uh, these creatures here, they're like one of the few that actually do not get hurt by your spinny orbs thing. Uh, nor do uh, bosses of course, but bosses almost become kind of a joke when you have uh, your higher levels of endurance and your higher levels of strength. I mean Pandora, you know, who I freaked about for, uh, what was it, at least two videos, um, you know, having to get it into 200 hits with only four bars of health and maybe one, uh, medicine jar on my side, um, you know, with level five strength, it only takes 40 hits altogether, and plus you're less, uh, worried about your, you're less worried about your, uh, your personal health meter because you're at full endurance, you're at five bars of health, as well as you probably have earned enough hearts to buy some extra potions and stuff, even the barrel. So this room in particular, if you have enough points, again there's some rubric for it, but uh, basically you can get into, uh, you can get your health upgrade at that time. Skip. I'm now going to skip to the, actually to the last part of this video where we show the final ending of the game, for reals. Okay guys, here we are again at the finale. Um, I have all 999 hearts, Medusa is dead, I have all three of the major weapons, I have a level 5 attack, I have 999 hearts, I have a crazy awesome score. Sorry I'm not using the capture card for this, I'm just kind of like, I am done with this game. Thank you, B Petulia? Paterna? No, wait, what's your name? Polenko. Whoa, Pint is all large. And ooh, kissy, kissy, smoochy, smoochy. Oh my gosh, it's a royal wedding. Or, wow, that's pretty awesome. 
Don't... Medusa was destroyed in the light of, in the light of peace, returned to Angel Land, but in order to maintain peace, peace, Pit's struggle continues. Oh, he's got to get back to work. That's so sad. But yeah, I think that is the best ending for Kid Icarus. Um, there is a... Of the two that I showed you, the first one was the one where he gets the little hat. Uh, second one is just where he gets his large sized, where basically he gets a mushroom. And then she kisses him, and she's like, yeah, that's it. Go back to work now. Although this one was had the whole fanfare thing, so... As far as... Okay, now, as far as I'm considered, this is the end of Kid Icarus. Alright. This is a Big Mac saying. Later. Well... I'll go ahead and just do the outro one more time. A uh, couple a couple things I noticed. The playthroughs were much, much faster than the first time. One, because I bothered to grind in level 1-2, and I was able to actually get pick up a level 2 upgrade, which made things immensely easier. Because there I could get a level 3 upgrade more easily, level 4, level 5, much more quickly. Uh, there are certain ways that you can cheat, it turns out, to get... Um, items in the uh, the gambling room. I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, as far as I'm considered, now I am completely done with uh, Let's Play Kid Icarus. Or it's a, it's, it's a Let's Play in disguise. We all know that for sure. Alright, everybody say, Big Mac saying, later!